and welcome back to my channel. It's Dimpy here and for today's video I have decided to review and do wear and tear update on this beautiful Emily wallet from Louis Vuitton. Now this particular piece is from their Flower Blooms collection which unfortunately is discontinued. However all the Emily wallets are pretty much the same so the only difference between this special edition one and the regular Emily wallet is really this flower button right here which actually looks like a flower and this flower charm. So other than that all the Emily wallets are pretty much the same and other Emily wallets are still available and they're going to be available for a long time. So I thought why not come on here and kind of do a review and wear and tear update on this gorgeous piece in case you guys are considering to purchase it or just kind of wondering how the wallet holds up over time. So if you are interested in knowing more about it please go ahead and keep on watching. Before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to my channel, do consider subscribing down below. I make videos on fashion and beauty and lifestyle and I would love to have you join my YouTube family and sort of stick around for more videos like this. So my Emily wallet came in this cute little dust bag and I believe at the time when I bought it, it was 570 US dollars. Um, and obviously this particular collection has been discontinued, but I believe the regular Emily wallets are about, um, don't quote me on it, but I believe about 525. So there's obviously quite a bit of price difference between this one and the regular one, but I think the button and the charm is all worth it. I think it looks so, so, so cute. So before we get into the details of this particular wallet, I kind of want to give you a backstory on how I ended up with this wallet in the first place because this was not my first choice. So my first choice was actually the Clements wallet and if you have seen that wallet, um, it's basically got a zippered opening and then it has a zippered compartment in the middle for your coins and then on either side of it, um, it's got credit card slots. So that wallet was really nice and it was really compact, really slim, and it fit into a lot of my bags. So it was good, but the only problem with that wallet was the credit card slots. So every time I try to take um, the credit cards out, it would literally get stuck into the zippered flap. So, um, you know, there's a flap of where the zipper kind of attaches to the side of the wallet. That's what I'm talking about. So every time I try to take the credit cards out, it would always, always, always get stuck into that flap and I hated it. Anyhow, that's why I decided to sold it and then I kind of, you know, I was looking for something else that would, um, you know, that wouldn't have that kind of problem. So then I was looking into the Zippy wallet, but once again, it's kind of the same structure. It's just a little bigger than Clement's wallet. So that was out of question. And then I was also looking into Sarah wallet, which was really good, but it's got a lot of compartments. It's got about like, I think 16 credit card slots. So it was nice, but it was really big. So then came the Emily wallet. So the Flower Blooms collection initially came in three different colors. So it was red um, as well as blue. And I think the third one was pink. But obviously I decided to go with the red because I think it looks super gorgeous against the monogram. So let me zoom in now so you can see what the wallet looks like on the inside. So this is the front of the wallet. And as you can see, um, it's got two LVs written here. And I think it looks so cute because they're in the perfect distance uh, to this metal button, which looks really, really nice. And then it's got a snap button closure. And as you open it, you'll notice that it's a one continuous piece of canvas that goes all the way around and then comes back in the front. Now, mine is obviously in the red color and the inside is uh, made up of leather. And there's four credit card slots in the front with a zippered compartment. Um, now, what's good about this zipper compartment is that it's made up of this plasticky material, which is dark in color, so it's so good. It doesn't get dirty very fast, and I love that about it. And then on the inside, it's got one big compartment with another small compartment in the back, and then one more compartment in the front. And as you must have noticed, the zipper on this particular wallet has this cute little charm attached to it which is red and it's got Louis Vuitton Paris written on it. So I really, really love this charm. 
And then my piece was made in France, as you can see. I don't know if the camera is zooming in correctly, but so my wallet was made in France. And obviously, as you can see, I've got my initials engraved on it. This is the side of the wallet. Once again, it's red in color and it's got this thick piping, which is super nice. Same thing on the other side. And then back of the wallet is just plain and it looks upside down because like I mentioned, it's one continuous piece of canvas that goes all the way around. So I put all of my stuff back into the wallet just so that you can see how much it holds. Um, so in the front here, there is four credit card slots and I just love that because all of your cards that you need to grab more often can stay right here. And then that's what it looks like on the inside. So I have some credit cards in the back and then I have some additional cards over here with some cash in the middle. So right now I have about 12 credit cards in here with some cash. And as you can see, there's a lot more room in case I need to put something more in it. Another feature of this wallet that I really, really admire is that it can hold your passport. So I have my passport here and I'm gonna slide it in there so you can see how nicely it fits. So there is my passport in there and I'm gonna close it so that you can see how nicely it fits. So there it is. Um, it fits so nicely. There's no bulging. There's no stress on the button here. It fits in really, really nice. And keep in mind that I still have all of my credit cards and cash and everything in there. I personally just love the fact that this wallet holds my passport so, so comfortably well because every time I'm traveling, I'm always paranoid about losing my passport or someone stealing my passport. And uh, this wallet allows me to hold my passport as well as cash and change and credit cards. So then I don't have to take care of 10 different things. I can only take care of this one thing which holds all of my essentials. Another great feature of this wallet is that it can hold your phone as well. So I have my iPhone XR and I'm gonna slide it in there so you can see how nicely it fits. So that's what it looks like. Mind you, I still have all of my cash and credit card and all that stuff in there. And I am gonna close it. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Um, obviously it is bulging out a little bit on the size here, but there's no other stressing, not on the sides. I don't think it's very stressed or anything. Um, there's no stress on the button either. It's still comfortable and it nicely fits in there. The only thing is that it is heavy now because it's holding my iPhone. But other than that, it's really great. And like I was telling you earlier that if you are going somewhere and you only want to carry this one piece, then it's really great because it can hold your iPhone, it can hold your passport. So on the whole, I really, really love this wallet. I think it's great for everyday use. I think it's great for traveling. It holds so much, just like I showed you. It holds all of your credit cards, as well as your cash, changes, everything. It even holds your passport. It holds your phone. So on the whole, I really love this wallet. It's just amazing. This part of the video I have decided to change the camera angle just slightly so that I can zoom in and show you the wear and tear on this piece. So let's talk about the middle button here. So there is a slight scratch in the middle. Other than that, the button looks still really, really good in a really good condition. This middle part here is movable just like that but there's nothing has really happened to it. The canvas looks really good as well. This is the front and then this is the back. So the canvas looks really good as well. I'm going to show you the glazing. So this is the glazing and it looks really intact and really nice. This is the other part. I mean the other side and the glazing looks really well. Um, uh, this glazing here looks really nice as well. There is no other issues at all. 
So that's a good sign. And then inside, the, these are the credit card slots and there's no curling or anything. Obviously they have stretched a little bit, uh, but other than that, there is they haven't really curled out or anything. But this button here is also in a really good condition. There's no other scratches or anything like that. The inside of the canvas is also in a really good shape. One thing, however, I will point out is this line that kind of shows up. It wasn't there before, but it obviously occurred from uh, the credit cards that go in. So I guess when you have your credit card in the last slot, that's where the credit card um, stops. So that's the bottom of the credit card. And I think that's why this line has created but I don't think it bothers me that much. It's on the inside anyways. And when you have the wallet closed, you can't really see it. Here's the charm and it looks really, really good. So there is no scratching on the leather part or in the middle on either side. Um, the glazing on the charm also looks really, really good. Um, there's no other tarnishing on the chain either. And one thing I forgot to mention is when I have this bag in inside my bigger bags, I tend to slide the charm in just like that. That way it stays protected and it doesn't get caught into anything. As far as the tarnishing is concerned, there is essentially two places where I can see a little bit of tarnishing going on. It's not much though, to be honest. Um, one place is at the end of the zipper where the two flaps are attached. Um, it's very minor, just, you know, something to point out though. And the other place is at the front of the zipper where we got uh, this chain attached to the actual zipper. So I can understand why this part is tarnished. It's probably from constant chain going back and forth when you when I try and close the zipper. So these are the only two places where I have seen tarnishing. So this is the side of the wallet. And as you can see, there isn't a lot of glazing issue happening except for this part right here where I'm noticing this slight crack into the glazing. So I'm just waiting for all the stores to open so that I can take this back and see, um, you know, if there's any way that they can fix this. Um, and then this is the other side. So the other side is not too bad. It's fine. The problem is just with this side. So other than the glazing issue and the little bit of tarnishing that we saw on the zipper, the wallet for the most part is good and I highly recommend it. But just like all the other Emily wallets, there is some glazing issue happening. So that leads us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Let me know your comments and thoughts on Emily Wallet. Let me know if you like it, if you own one. And also if you don't have it, let me know if you would consider purchasing it for yourself. I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care, bye.